morning everyone so today i want to talk about an amazing thing so uh social media used for good now a lot of us on social media uh probably know all the stories about loneliness depression suicide all the bad things that social media is bringing up in us right but it can also be used for good I do that in my community, other people do it in their communities, but today we have the technology to actually bridge the gap and bring people together and help, you know, and, and make some big impact in the world. And one of the people who is doing this is actually, I'm going to murder his name, uh, Bill Polt, I believe that's his name. Uh, so Bill is a um, pretty wealthy guy, right? Uh, he is from... Ba, 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 ba. He's the grandson of the late founder of home building giant Paul Group, right? But he made the money on his own and he is pretty young, woke up one day and said, you know what? Social media can be used to do some good in the world. And so what he does is this thing right here on Twitter. Check this out. So every day he gives out money, right? So he has a lot of uh, tweets of giving away um giving money, just inspiring people to do, uh, to do good. You should follow this guy. Um, and then you see right there, people, he's inspiring people to take action and do good. And he's not doing it on his own. He's actually getting the entire community to stand behind him and help other people by retweeting, by helping people, by moving people together. Um, a single mom was short on rent by $500. She posted her need to technology. Technology allowed me to be able to immediately send her $500. This is what the internet should be used for. Completely agree, right? And so uh, he's been giving money to people, but what's really more amazing is that he's actually motivating other people to do a lot of good himself, themselves, right? So for example, uh, this beautiful eight-year-old little girl has been diagnosed with terminal brain cancer and has limited time left to live. The family's car broke down and they need to fix it uh, to take her to radiation treatments. So this goes to a GoFundMe link. And before I'm going to go there and show you guys what's, uh, what's going on, check this out. So when you click on this, all they need is $3,000. And he's asking, can you help? Donate now. And when you scroll down, you see people are just giving just a little bit, right? But little by little... Five dollars, twenty dollars, um, fifteen dollars. Right? Um, they're moving back. This is her thing. So it, at fourteen hours ago, it was six hundred and forty raised out of three thousand. Right now, which is I think fourteen hours later. Let's see. Almost there, almost there. And you can see people are giving like just whatever they have: five dollars, twenty dollars, ten dollars, a hundred dollars, whatever they have, just from a tweet right here, right? So in 14 hours, this was uh, yesterday at 8.15 p.m. Almost the goal has almost reached, you know, they almost reached their goal, which is fantastic. Um, and this one, right? Our soldier Billy, pictured below, fought for our freedom in Iraq. He had shoulder surgery, can't work, has four kids. His wife is working two jobs. They are falling behind and having a really hard time. Can we help them? So let's see, can we help them? They suppress the goal, right? With people doing just a little bit, $5, $10, $20. By accident, they raised more than the money needed. And these stories are not uh, unique because if you go down Bill's uh, Twitter feed, you can see so many cases where there are, the community comes together. This is the beauty of it. The community comes together to help each other. So Bill is not calling his Twitter followers followers. He calls them teammates. He has a team of 10 people who are going through all the requests and everything there to see, um, to see you know, who they can help and what they can do and how they can do that. And so what's nice about this is two things. One, um, if you wanted to do some good in the world, and you are looking for a place where your money can directly impact the people that uh, need that, right? Not just go through a charity or something like that. You can see the direct impact of your contributions. This profile um, builds goals might be a good place for you to start. 
if you are in need, if you need money for rent, if you need, you know, uh, your car broke down, God forbid you have some sickness or illness in your family or anything like that, that also might be a good place for you to, uh, to go to and start taking part. And one of the nice things about this is that Bill is actually using this uh, technology to bring people together and create a movement, a movement for good. And in today's uh, society where everything that we see is fear-based and hate and divide and racism and all the bad stuff that's happening, just you know, starting your day with some good, ending your day with some good uh, can really elevate our mood, right? And show us that the world is not, it's not so separated if we all come together for something. Um, so last thing, one uh, one of the people in um, on Twitter said uh, actually wrote like, "Hey, if you have all this money, how come you're not just paying for all that stuff? Why are you asking us to contribute, right?" And to that, I want to say that bringing people together and creating a movement of people who are actually helping each other can make a much bigger impact in the world than uh, one person trying to cover everybody's illnesses, right? So when we start a movement of getting people to do what they can, $5 here, $10 there, hi Paresh, thank you for commenting, um, $5 here, $10 there, $100, whatever you can, it does two things. One, it empowers you to feel that, you know, there are people who are less fortunate than you are and whatever situation you're in, you're able to help. So automatically it elevates you higher, right? And gives you a good sense of like, wow, I'm actually fine, which is a good mental place to be, right? Because a lot of us are kind of like buried in our to-dos and, and look more on what we're not doing than what we are doing. So that's a fantastic way. And the second part is like, we can make a lot more impact when we do this together than one person can actually heal the entire world. So my goal in sharing this with you is two things. One, if you can help and you're looking for a place to help, uh, Bill's profile might be a good place for you to start. Two, if you are in need, that's a good place to start. And three, just so you know, the world is not filled with, um, with people who are just, you know, very selfish and holding and not contributing to anyone else, right? Uh, we have a lot of good people around the world. Many, many of them are just happy to donate and help whatever they can. And I'm super excited that one person is starting this movement that shows the world that this is possible without organizations and without, you know, bureaucracy, <laughs> without all that kind of stuff. All he's trying to do is inspire people to give. And many things that he says, it's like, you know, you can just give a smile, right? Just get used, get into the habit of like smiling and helping someone down the street and all that stuff. So that will become our new normal, right? Rather than turning the other way. So in this spirit of giving, uh, I hope you have a fantastic week. Go check out Bill's profile. See if you can support anyone there. See if you can get some help for yourself. And, um, and that's it. Have a fantastic Wednesday.